Alrighty guys, here we are in Choctaw in North, Miss North Mississippi. We're, not, we're in Sherwood community. We're fixing to go duck hunting on a small wood duck hole, hoping to get four or five wood ducks. Not really knowing what's gonna happen. The other day we sat here and watched this hole one morning. There was 20 wood ducks landed, but they landed on the other side of the slough from us. So we're gonna get to that other side and see what happens. At least, hopefully, we'll get that uh, Maganzer hen I saw the other day. Alrighty, guys, we've already made it to the hole. I forgot to do so, everybody. That's my girlfriend, Atlee Thompson. This is my little sister, Grace Jones. <clears throat> and me. I don't know if you can see me with the light shining on it, but we done made it to a little slough right in here. Well, we're, we're, like I said earlier, we're hunting wood ducks. And they're going to land in here, or they're just going to keep going. And uh, it's one of those things where you don't bring calls and you don't put out decoys either they're gonna land here or they're not this is the only puddle for a ways and like i said if they keep going we'll just flip them off as they go but if they land in here we're hoping to get them but this would be a good little hole if i bait it if you know what i'm saying but anyway we fixing to uh try to have us a good little wood duck shoot one two Alright, get ready. Right out front, guys. Just wait, they're coming to us. Press your throat again, guys. Just wait, 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 just wait. Wait, 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 wait. They're gonna make another circle. They're gonna make another circle. All right, this is it. This is it. Let them come over, all of us. Wait, 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 wait. Kill him. Alrighty, guys. We've had a pretty good shoot this morning, I'll say. Uh, we had three geese come in. We dumped one of them. The other one I ended up chasing a long ways, nearly drowned twice. Had to do a little swim move under the water. I feel so much. And uh, didn't get him. He got away. Uh, I shot him six times, almost like at 30 yards, with some little low brass steel shot. And so, I mean, not that, but like low brass, low brass. And if he lives, power to him. He deserves it. I hope he keeps living. But we ended up getting uh, one goose, as you can see, it's right there. And then we got a, a few woodies we haven't picked up yet. But I got try to get videos, everything. The videos aren't that good. My phone, every time I'd shoot, for some reason, I touched my gun barrel, kept cutting the video off. But uh, anyway, we're going to give it about another 10 minutes. We'll start rounding up ducks. And we're headed out. We still never did find our other ducks. Turns out three of them actually either swam off when we thought they were down or they sunk. We really don't know. But that one goose, like I said, I shot him five or six times. And the last time I saw him, he hopped a, a uh, beaver dam. Went over down a little stream and I never saw him again. And so, But we're headed out now. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to clean these wood ducks here in just a little bit. And now we're going to church, and then we'll skin ducks. Hey guys, I fixed the skin this goose that we harvested this morning. I got my bag here to put feathers in, Ziploc bags for the meat. And the way I'm gonna skin this goose is, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take the breast meat. His legs got shot to pieces, whether you can see that on video or not. He was the unlucky goose. This just so happened to be front and center to us. Well, all three of us way laid into him. Like I said, we knocked down another one, but he got away. How in the world that goose got away? 
I couldn't even tell you. But everybody's going to tell you a million different ways to do geese. And I haven't skinned just a whole lot of them. But what I like to do is try to get a center line on these feathers as best I can. Sometimes you have to take... Oh, camera got blown over. I think we're still good. We're still looking professional, somewhat. I've actually skinned a lot of things on this tailgate, from a black bear to deer, squirrels, coons, and otter, turkeys. The tailgate's been pretty good to me. I can skin a lot of things on it. Man, we messed him up. Fighting the wind pretty bad right now. That's part of it though. Another thing, you always want to take these feathers and rip upward to get them out of the way. They do better. The feathers are going down. Of course, if you look at any bird, the feathers are always point down. You want to take them and rip them up and forward. And I also skin a turkey the same way, except for I'll take the thighs and some wings off a turkey. But this here, goose. Just get him like this, and I'm actually having a lot of problem with these dying feathers. Okay, so now I just got skin right here. I'm gonna go ahead and split it and rip it. So start at the bottom of the breast. It's like a heart. I always tell people feel like a heart. And you will follow all the way down. I'm gonna come in here first, and all I'm cutting is skin, just coming right up. This knife that my little girlfriend got me for Christmas. First time ever using this. Maybe she'll be proud of me when she sees this. And I'm gonna take that skin and rip down. And sometimes you have to carve it just a little bit. This one's being difficult. Almost like skinning any other animal. But once you get that skin started, you can rip it most of the time. It don't help that my hands are just a little numb. It's windy out here and this goose still wet. Should have skinned him before I went to church, but we got caught up having fun and taking pictures. It's like everything else, making memoirs, memories. So, I pretty much got this breast, ex breast exposed right here. I'm still gonna come in here with this. Man, it's nice and sharp. This is, I just opened this thing. I think it's a game winner. Some kind of skinning knife. I don't know, but this thing is bad. You better not mess up this thing here. Now, wild goose is kind of hard to cook. I leave the cooking to someone else as far as that. I can cook, and what I do basically with goose, I just cut up a little niblets and throw it in deep fryer. But I let most folks, other folks cook, my girlfriend, or my dad, or somebody like that, little sister. So now, I'm cutting on each side of the breast right here. Literally, there's a hard part coming down the middle of the breast. I'm cutting down along it. And then you can see the bottom of that. Just like any other breast, just like a chicken, dove, quail. Anything like that. Man, he got lit up. 
Ooh, somebody's gonna get some shot out of him. So uh, that's all I'm doing is just coming here and I'm peeling. And I'm peeling. And peeling. Then I'm gonna come up top up here. Cut from the top. Okay, did a little bit different camera angle, so that way y'all can see pretty good. Still, same room applies. I'm still working on this right side of this breast right here. I'm gonna come down right here and cut. And you can see, it's just this one piece of meat right here. Big old giant goose strip, now chicken strip. I got that one piece of meat holding right here on the skin. Take it and cut it. Very gently like. And there it goes, she just pops out. Now, it's got feathers all over it. It's because I didn't do a good job. That's what that boils down to. And wasn't careful enough. But if you take your time and get better with it. So I take this, put it inside a Ziploc bag. And then I'll take it inside and wash it before I actually freeze it. All right, time for the other side. I'm gonna be a little more, try to be a little more quicker with this side. So it makes me a little better, redeem myself, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You're actually all gonna probably be able to see better on this side anyway. Okay, so I'm cutting down around that heart right there. Some red meat, buddy. Go. See if I can get both these pieces in here. Goose duck. All right, guys. Now for the two wood duck drinks. <laughs> I will argue with anybody. My personal opinion, though, is all that matters. Is that. I think a wood duck's the prettiest duck in the world. Prettiest bird in the world, actually. That's just something that just, like a whippoorwill, like a turkey, a white-tailed buck. It's just something when I think of the south, when I think of, when I see a duck, I just think of the south. Obviously, I know they have, not just in the deep south, but along with turkeys, but many times I don't think of adventures back home that I wouldn't think of a wood duck. They happen to be in some of my best adventures. Okay. Same with the duck. Same with the duck. Except for a duck, you just have to cut a little small hole. They're not as big as a goose. So all I'm doing is just, I'm literally just getting enough to get my fingers in there. A little slit to cut the skin. Take that. And then I'm just going to peel and rip it. Put my feathers in my Walmart bag. So that way I'm not making a mess or getting feathers all over the yard. On a windy day like today. Sometimes to get this thing started, you gotta cut just a smidgen. Get it started. This duck is actually giving me some problems. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, like we know what we're doing. I got a piece of the meat out of that breast, you can see, which is what you're not supposed to do. But never claimed I was a pro.
See how it's a heart shape? All I'm doing is peeling back around that heart. Kind of like that. Now you can see that press really good. I'll go ahead and lay out my bag right here. And I'm just gonna get the, the breast out of these ducks. Some people may say I'm wasting a lot, but yeah, I guess I am. But I'm just gonna get the breast out of these with ducks. All I did was cut down that middle bone, lay this wide open. Now it's just the skin on the bottom holding it right here. And I'm just gonna cut, 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 cut. I tried filming our hunt this morning, and I'm a little awkward on camera angles, and I just hope you can see this duck right now for all I know, but I tried my best to film it, and every time I shot, the video would turn off, and it's because I didn't have my thing quite right and steady, and I should have fixed it instead of being lazy, so you guys could see what I was shooting, if you cared, but anyway... right there like I said I when I pull the skin I got a little bit of meat but another beautiful wood duck Drake like I said I'm a big fan of woodies I do get tired of killing them I do wish I could get some different diversity of ducks and maybe one day when I grow up, I will. But, and in Wyoming, I do. I get a lot of birds that's in the Pacific Flyway over there that aren't as common right here in the deep south. Like widgeon. There's tons of widgeons out there, but hardly any here. Anyway, I am de-feathering this duck on his chest. But... This one is not going to Aflac anymore, as they say. Goodness, I'm gonna have feathers flying back in my trunk. I will take some of these feathers to uh, my friends out west in Wyoming. They would like some feathers to make flies with for fly fishing. I'm no fly fisherman, cause like back here, back home, we catch fish this big, you know, by the truckloads, catfish, bass, like that. They, they make it a sport out there cause it's really easy to catch trout on a spinning rod and in not so deep water like creeks ice fish is pretty fun i can sit there and ice fish all day just like sitting deer blind take my book a book i'm reading or my journal sit there and ice fish freeze my rear end off oh my fingers are getting numb By the way, I don't know if I said this yet or not. I'm actually a professional hunting guide in Wyoming, but I'm from Madison, Mississippi. And I go back to Wyoming in a couple of days. Uh, but I've moved out there. This is January of 2024. I moved there in April of 22. So almost two years I've been out there. Apparently, what I've been told, my accent hasn't changed to have a thick southern accent is good no other way I'd rather be talking maybe y'all can understand me if you can't maybe the video is good enough you can see what's happening but anyway I moved out there to be a hunting guide and uh, my first 
job was baiting bears in Wyoming. And, uh, I, uh, so there's your, there's your heart right here. That heart shape of the breast. Bend up like that. And then I'm gonna get the breast out. But I moved out there to, aspiring to be a hunting guide. And, uh, I had some opportunities come up, made the most of them, got some kills, and, uh, you know, earned their trust. And I'm 22 years old and been professionally guiding for two years for Western Big Game of Wyoming. So I did manage to kill a bear while, I, while I've been out there, but no elk yet. I messed up my residency this year. I mean, yeah, no, last year. And, uh, did not get a bull up. But this year, I'll be dying if I don't come home with some elk meat. Hopefully, I'll get that on video. Not going to be upset if I don't. I just want him on the ground. And I've seen a lot of elk die uh, this past year. I personally had eight. I had ten hunting clients. And two were mule deer. And eight were elk. And I went 100% with all my clients. So, I'm killing up in mule deer. And I don't get me wrong, I want a big, giant, bugling elk. But I just, I want an elk so bad. It's one of the main reasons why I moved out there too. And uh, I want an elk so bad. And after seeing the big ones fall, the small ones fall, I'm going to be very honest. If it's brown, it's probably going to be down. I just want to kill an elk so bad. I could care, I really could not care less about the horns or whatever for my first one. I just want to get a freaking elk down. Oh no, piece of meat right there. Shoot. My luck is, hopefully, good Lord bless me, I get all my clients killed out. And then I probably won't even see one be my luck. All right, that's a goose and two wood ducks in about 10 minutes, which is really slow, but there you go, deep breasted. Got the meat ready. Thank y'all for watching.